Hello friends, you are going to do lesson, math lesson 85 today, the front side and the back side. I am going to give you a quick review of um, concepts that you're going to see on your math paper. I'm gonna review that with you here on the board and then you can jump right into your, into your math paper. There's nothing new on this sheet. Everything on this sheet um, are things that you have done before. So it shouldn't be too bad, but I'll review with you anyways. So for, you know your count by fives, so first grade, I'll skip that. When you do an, a subtraction problem or an addition problem, make sure that you first notice if you are going to be subtracting or adding. For this one, this is a subtraction problem, so we ask, is the big number on top? No, regroup, cross off the five, leave it as a four, Put a one in front of the eight so that it becomes 18. 18 minus nine. Nine is the big number on top. Yes, subtract four. One is the big number on top. Yes, subtract seven, five. The answer is 519. This is an addition problem, so let's add. Nine, 16, carry the one, zero, five, plus one more is six, five, eight, the answer is 866. Um, you should be okay to do the rest of those on your own since they're all review. When you do problem number four, it says to put a dot in each angle of the shape and then draw a square in each right angle. So for every angle, which is where two lines meet, you would put a dot. And if you have a right angle, which is when you have an exactly vertical line run to an exactly horizontal line and it creates perpendicular, a perfect perpendicular meeting. Then you put a little box. On your first shape, which is a rectangle, they're all right angles. One way to check is to see if your paper fits in, in it. And if it does, then you know that it's a right angle because the edge of your paper right here creates exactly a right angle. Um, I'll let you do the rest on your own. Watch out for the circle though, that's gonna try to trick you. I'm gonna skip down to number six where it says draw the money needed. Use dollar bills and coins. Start with the biggest denomination and make the most possible. So we have $20 bills, 10, 5, 1. And then for the coins, we have a 50 cent piece, we have a quarter, a dime, a nickel, and, the, and a penny. And we're gonna start with the biggest option, and if we can't use that, then we're gonna move down to the next option, and then the next, and the next, and the next, the next, the next, the next, the next, and then use pennies at the very end if we have to. So I am gonna do this one with you. Put a dollar sign in front of this, $13 and 56 cents. So starting with $20, $20 too big. $10, however, we can use a $10 bill. So we're gonna write $10. We can't use another 10 because that would make 20 and that's too big. So we'll move down to the five. If we use the $5 bill, that would also be too much, that would be $15. So we're gonna move down to a one. We can use a one, because if we use a one, that's 11. Another one would be 12, and another one would be 13. So we're gonna use three $1 bills. Just writing a dollar sign and a one, and then putting it in a box. And this will represent dollar one dollar bill, make my box a little longer. So now we have 10, 11, 12, 13 dollars, 13 dollars. So we're done with the dollar bills 
And now we are going to work on the coins. Let's start with our biggest coin. Our biggest coin option is the 50 cent piece, 56. So, oh, you guys, we could use one half dollar, one 50 cent piece. So we'll do that, all right, 50, and then put a circle around it, that's 50 cents. We can't use another 50, because that would be a whole dollar. So we'll move to the quarter. If we use a quarter, that would be 75, that's too much. So let's move down to a dime. If we use a dime, that's 60, that's too much. So let's move down to a nickel. If we use a nickel, oh, if we use a nickel, that's 50. Five, which is great. So let's use one nickel. If we used another nickel, that would be 60. That would be too much. So if we're at 55, we use one penny. That gets us to 56 cents. And then we're all done. All right, um, a reminder about your clocks. As the minute hand moves, the hour hand moves. Hour, use the numbers. Minute, count by fives. You just have to write what the time is shown. First, look at your hour hand. What number is it pointing at? Then look at your minute hand. Count by fives and write that number down. On the back side, you get to multiply by sevens, which means you just do your count by seven. So seven times three, seven, 14, 21. Then you would write down 21, okay? Seven times nine, seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 63. Then you would write down 63. If you have forgotten your count by sevens, then well, work on memorizing them again. But also, you can look up here, all of the right answers are here. So let's say you couldn't remember what seven times nine is, just look for seven times nine, whoop, oh, there it is. Seven times nine, 63, you can find the answer and just copy it down. That's not cheating, that's being smart, okay? Good luck with your lesson, you guys.